Good morning from Paris, one degree Celsius outside. So today I'm going to fly Qatar Airways, the 777-300. As you can see behind the advertising is the Q Suite. So I'm very excited to fly the Q Suite. It's supposed to be first in business class. Let's check it out in the video. By the way, I am a big fan of Terminal 1 at CDG. I love this design. It never felt old. It feels very futuristic to me still. With all these uh, travelator hangouts sticking out from the building. And uh, it's like going somewhere to space. Love it. Hello, good morning. Hi, sir. Welcome, Welcome to Qatar Airways. Oh, wow. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome. What does this say in Arabic? This is Marhaba Bikom. It's uh -huh. basically a welcome, welcome. Uh, a welcome venue. I shouldn't know that. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's fine. So, I believe it's your first time in our lounge? Yeah, absolutely. Alright, so let me just introduce you to the facility of the lounge. So, here is the main lobby. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have opened in uh, 17 December 2016. I will uh, continue the visit. We have one fountain located over here. So basically, this part that you see here was originally built in the airport, okay? That's why the ceiling is quite low. However, what I'm going to show you now has been built specially for Qatar Airways. So it's an extension and... Okay, part of so it. there's something they built just specially for Qatar Airways. Absolutely. That sounds special. Let's go check it out. Let's go. And here is a site that has been built basically and that's why you can see that the ceiling is higher. Mm. On the right, we have two prayer rooms. I'll start by showing you. One is here. Okay, this prayer room. Men's shower room here. And uh, it's quite a spacious room. It's obviously, it's quite luxuriously decorated. Yeah, look at that. It's unreal in the toilet as well. And we are riding on the martini bar area. So basically, you have a martini bar. This is the daily area where customers have their breakfast. Mm. So there is a self service. So guys, there's also a menu about the food. You can a la carte order Arabian breakfast and um, also a la carte. Depends on how you like your eggs get done. Well, we have a terrace and uh, it's dark right now, but um, in the summer it will be quite spectacular here to uh, come out to wait for a plane and eat. By the way, I love this Travelator. This is um, the original design of Charles de Gaulle ADB. Um, this is the bit you're going down. Basically, you walk through the tunnel and then you're going to the satellite concourse to board your plane. So, Mr. Shui, I wish you a pleasant flight. Thank you very much. I brought a friend with me as well. Oh, very good. Do you remember? Oh, yes, of course. Yes, she does. We she does. never forget. How are you doing? How was your stay in Paris? Excellent. Did you like the factory of uh, Airbus? I saw the Qatar A350 yes, 1000 series. Yes, I saw that. It's the iPhone of everything. Very, very nice. Really, really awesome. Oh. I'm going to share more with you of the photos Certainly, later. Certainly, of course. Alrighty. Pleasure having you again today. Okay. Would you like us to bring you to your Q suite? Please. Well, still oh, sure. Nice Thank to meet you very, you very much. And uh, have a pleasant flight. Thank you very, very and much. And see you soon in our lounge. See you again in Paris. Take Thank care. you so much. Everything. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome on board. Well, today uh, my board. colleague Peter will take care of you. Okay. And I'll we'll bring you morning. to your morning. personal Peace. Peace. suite. Looking beautiful and fresh. <laughs> we are ready to film you. Alrighty. Bye. 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 B
Ready to go! I'm going to do a live demo about my Q-Suite. I learned all the features after the flight attendant told me. So first we have the door here. The door is a manual closing door, but it's very smooth, very easy. So you just slide and you get your privacy. Okay. And what about storage now? The storage is actually my ultimate here. So there's a strap here. You can pull the strap. You get your storage place here. So you get your, you know, a whole bin of things and uh, you know, it is very private. Inside the Q-Suite actually you have uh, lots of tables here. I'm going to show you the your main dining table. So you can pull and convert into a very big dining table here. Now the second table here is a cocktail table where you can have your drinks on this cocktail thing, you can have your laptop on it. And then we have the third table, it's called the amenity shelf. It's right below, so I can slide my amenity kit inside. You can put some of your, um, you know, personal belongings like watches inside. So there's a lot, a lot of excellent space. And lastly, you can also raise your ottoman. There's a button. You can come up. Your ottoman come up, so you can have uh, armrests rested on your ottoman. Omelet with chicken patty and potato and some mushrooms. Omelets with chicken pate. Okay, yes. interesting for breakfast. Okay. All right. She's in charge of our food today, so she's a very important person behind the scenes. Look at what she's doing. She's not it's actually, this is, this is not food on Qatar Airways, by the way. You know what this is? This is a cuisine. This is not food. <laughs> by the way, what is this? It's a 
Ravioli pasta with the meat and pesos. Ravioli pasta? Yeah. Okay, pasta at 8 a.m. in the morning. Very nice. <laughs> yum yum. Somebody's very hungry. So this is the Qatar Airways 777 bathroom and it's also very luxuriously and decked out. It's predominantly very very upscale and uh, there's a lot of amenity inside the bathroom as you can see as well. What I want to show you is this amazing uh, body mist. It has this beautiful smell. It's a brand called Ritus which is chosen by Qatar Airways to use and um, if you ever come on board on Qatar Airways flights in business class, try out the body mist. I know, you're so kind. Sleepy? Sleepy like a teddy bear. Yes. I'll show you the blanket. Really, really soft one. Really soft blankets? Oh my gosh. They're treating me here. Special guest, right? Thank you so much. Touch it. Oh my gosh. It's like a velvet and it's so smooth. Wow, look at this. The both beds are going down simultaneously at the same time to become a double bed in the Q suite. This is amazing. So the crew is setting up the double bed, but I saw something interesting, Peter. What is this you're holding it? Yeah, now we have this, we call it the bed filler. The bed filler. Yes, the bed filler. It's used to fill in the gap between the two seats because there is this space where the divider is. It's uh -huh. lower than Yeah, I can see there's a space. So, so you can fill the middle. Oh my oh, god. Now it looks like a that is very proper. Very, very proper. The panel opened. And what's this? Oh my god, look at the color, look at the food. Such a surprise. 
Oh, I see. So the Q suite now can become a quad suite for four people. I can see, you know, two people can be sitting opposite me. And um, what a beautiful plate. And the wall can be removed. So to create a private four people suite together, quad suite on the Q suite. And this beautiful plate is created by Tada Miss Kia. <laughs> She's the master creator. Thank you so much. Guys, I'm coming uh, towards my end of my flight to Doha on the 777 Q Suite. Honestly, I think the Q Suites blew everything away. I think this is the world's best business class. Why am I saying that? Well, I invite you to come and try yourself. Um, I think there's so many combinations and ways you can, you know, do the Q Suite. There's a double suite, there's a quadruple suite, and there's a single suite. Very, very beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I hope you enjoy your flight. Thank you. Have a lovely stay in Doha and hopefully we'll see you soon. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye. Goodbye. Hi guys, I just want to show you the suitcase I've been using for the last three months. As you probably remember, I've been promoting this away suitcase in the Finnair video a few months ago. And since then, I love it. I've been using it on every trip I'm going overseas with. I want to show you is the USB charging cable externally built in the suitcase. And now you can see the phone is charging and it's fantastic just charge on the go. So thanks for watching. If you want to see more about this suitcase, you can go to the description link in the video.